I have Samsung Galaxy A6 Plus and let me show you how to bypass Google verification on the following device. So basically, let me show you how to unlock the factory reset protection. So at the very beginning, you need to download a couple of things that you will need to use. So at the very beginning, the USB drivers, let's use our link, Samsung Odin software, mini ADB and fastboot. Let's also use all the links to this uh, files from our uh, tutorial the link will be under the video then you need to download the samsung combination firmware right here so let's use our upload from the following year as you can see here you need to find your uh, your model this is your model and let's download this uh, combination firmware before you do it it's good to check out if this is your version of your combination firmware so let's choose power off and tap power off again now you need to press together power key and volume up keep holding both keys let's release both keys as soon as samsung galaxy a6 plus logo pops up and as you can see here, we've got the information about your firmware. So in my case, it's U1R2. So this is like the end of the firmware. And I've got this uh, combination firmware prepared. So if you also have this uh, type of the combination firmware, let's use our link. On my device, let me press power key to reboot the device. All right. Here, let's just tap download right here and let's wait for the mega upload afterwards you will be able to uh, download this thing all right then you have to have the samsung firmware so in order to have the samsung firmware to your device it's good to use this website email.info download firmware here let's enter the model of your device so the galaxy a6 plus tap search all right here we've got your model let's choose it let's choose your exact code name in my case it's the following one then you need to choose your country and your carrier let's just wait a few seconds and here in my case let me choose poland open without the carrier let's just tap open right here choose download and afterwards you will have the packed uh, file let's unpack the following samsung hard downloader and then you will be able to open this up tap yes and then all you need to do is wait a couple of seconds And just choose download to download your firmware. Let's select the place. For example, in my case, it could be the downloads folder. Tap save. And then you need to just wait until the downloading will be completed. I've got this thing done, so I can choose pause. So when the download will be completed, all you need to do is unpack the firmware. So here I have my firmware. And then if you have unpacked the firmware, you will be able to use the following files. So afterwards, let's put your device into a download mode. So let me press power key, choose power off and tap power off again. Then let's connect your micro usb cable to your pc here i have such a cable and then let's start holding together the volume down and volume up so let's keep holding together those two two keys right here and while holding those keys let's connect your device by using micro usb cable 
as you can see the warning message pops up now let's press volume up and the device is in a download mode that's what we need so afterwards let's open the Odin here I have Odin of course it's obvious that before you do all of the steps you need to install the drivers to your Samsung the ADB uh, drivers as well and then let's unpack the Odin afterwards you will be able to use the Odin here I have my Odin software right and as you can see here I've got the information that the device is connected now let's use the combination firmware so in order to use the combination firmware you need to also check out which file you need to upload so to combination firmware you need to just into the AP section choose the appropriate file so let's choose AP let's choose download the unpacked combination firmware and let's just load this firmware into the AP Alright, the AP is loaded, now let's choose option, make sure that you've got selected auto reboot and factory reset time and just, just tap start. So the device is flashing itself, you have to wait until the whole process will be completed. Alright, the flashing is done, the device is restarting, so you can disconnect your phone from your cable and let's just wait until you will be able to use your device. As you can see the factory binary is loading, that's what we need, this is the combination firmware. Alright, and here you need to open the settings, so let me try to find the settings. Let me choose here, for example. Sorry, this is the hardware test mode. Let me go back. Let me tap apps, here I have apps, and select settings. Alright, so then you need to scroll down, choose system, select about phone, and let's tap a couple of times on build number as you can see you are now a developer so we can go back and right here let's open developer options it's under system tab choose developer options and let's enable OEM unlocking so as you can see here we've got the warning let's tap enable let's go back and then you need to perform the hard reset operation so choose reset select factory data reset tab reset phone and choose erase everything so the device is performing the hard reset let's wait a couple of seconds until the operation will be done Alright, so the hard reset is done, now let's press power key to switch off the device, then let's prepare the micro USB cable one more time and let's enter the download mode, so let's hold down together volume down and volume up for a couple of seconds and connect your phone by using the micro USB cable. Keep holding both keys, release them as soon as warning pops up press volume up to confirm it right now you are in a download mode so let's go to your Odin one more time let's choose reset 
and now let's flash our device with the normal firmware that you just previously downloaded so let's choose bl so of course let's open the folder with your firmware right here select bl file choose ap right here You should wait a few seconds, maybe even a few minutes, AP file is the largest one. Alright, the AP is ready. Now let's use the CP file right here. Here I have the CP. Just CSC file. So here I have CSC file. Alright, now choose options. Make sure that you've got auto reboot and factor reset time selected and choose start. So the device is flashing itself. Let's wait until the whole process will be done. Alright, the flashing is done, now let me disconnect my device from my micro USB cable. Let's wait until the phone shows you the welcome panel. Alright, the home screen pops up, the welcome panel, let's choose your desired language, in my case it could be English, tab OK, let's go next, let me quickly go through the activation setup process, let me even skip the connecting to a Wi-Fi, it's a good sign that you can skip it, let me just check out if I can activate my device without the Google account, tap next, no thank you and choose skip, skip anyway. Tap more agree. Let me also skip connecting to a Samsung account. Tap finish. And as you may notice, the phone is loading the home screen. Everything is done. So now you can use your device in normal mode. So everything went well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel. Leave thumbs up under the video.